According to the Deputy General Secretary of the South African Communist Party, Soli Mapala, EFF leader Julius Mylema, was let off the hook by corrupt elements in the National Prosecuting Authority. He said Mylema was let off in the case involving his Ratanang Trust, which was a shareholder of On Point Engineering, a company fingered for improperly benefiting in a multi-million rand tender in Limpopo. According to Mapala, this was among a number of reasons why the EFF and its leader, had made Minister of Public Enterprises, Praveen Gordon, their personal and prime project, because he was the one who cracked down on Ratanang trust issues during his tenure as Minister of Finance. Mapala said it was unfortunate that the NP had not yet made headway in the case, which was struck off the roll after one of my lemmas co-accused fell ill, in 2015. It was a decision Mapala blamed on what he said was an MP, which was corrupted during former President Jacob Zuma's tenure as head of state. These are the words of Mapala. Why this chase of Praveen Gordon? Because he was in the Ministry of Finance, and was blocking certain things. The interest of the EFF in Comrade Praveen, is that it was under his leadership that Stratton and Trust, solely owned by Mylema, was investigated by the South African Revenue Service, and by a public protector, Tula Madansela, and was found to have been involved in malfeasance and fraud. There was one beneficiary of the trust, Julius Sello Mylema. That is the point the media should be pursuing, as to what finally happened with that issue. At some point there was supposed to be a criminal case, but the people at the NP, uh, the majority of them were corrupted, so this case did not go anywhere. However, the EFF leader has previously said he had nothing to hide, and dared the NP to make a move. During an EFF press conference in Cape Town last month, responding to the SOCP and Ahmed Kathreda Foundation's announcement of the Defend Democracy movement, Marlema said he would not be silenced by mentions of the NP. We have no issues with the NP, because the NP has the power to charge whoever they want to charge. If they want to charge, let them charge, but we will never be silenced, said Marlema. Mapala said Marlema's attack on Gordon was also motivated by the fact that SARS was closing in on a corrupt friend of Marlema, businessman Adriano Mazzotti. Mazzotti is a friend of Marlema, and a man who made a donation for the EFF to register with the IEC for elections in 2014. Now this man Mazzotti has been in conflict with SARS regarding illicit trade of tobacco. So there is one thing there which can be linked up, because the dominant person in fighting this has been Praveen Gordon. Marlema has on multiple occasions denied this. These are the words of Marlema. If Mazzotti has got problems of tax, and if Mazzotti is engaged in illicit cigarettes, they must arrest him. We have nothing to do with Mazzotti's business. They keep on saying Mazzotti this, Mazzotti that. They have the power and authority to arrest him, so we are not going to be deterred by Mazzotti criticism. Please check in the description box below, for the links to the sources of this report. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.